Good morning, everyone. Jennifer LeClaire here with you, senior leader of the Awakening House of Prayer Global Movement in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. This is Mornings with the Holy Spirit, and we are pressing in to the power and presence of God. Listen, guys, if you are in South Florida, would you do me the honor of stopping by to one of our services? We have two different encounters, two different experiences, two different worship sets, two different messages Amen. And we are waiting for you in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. 1047 a.m., 1.30 p.m. are our service times. We're spirit-led church where Christ is exalted and the Holy Ghost moves. People are getting prophesied to, delivered, healed all the time. It's just part of kingdom. It's part of kingdom. Come on by. I want to remind you today is book launch day. So before we begin our prayer, I want to uh, remind you of this new book I have that is on prayer. It's called Breaking the Miracle Barrier. And I hope that you will all uh, support your prayer life by picking up a copy of this book. And in doing so, you'll support uh, us as well. It's called Breaking the Miracle Barrier. Sid Roth said, if you need a miracle, you need this book. It's a mystery the Lord showed me in scripture in which we can break through the miracle barrier with a sound called now. Go over there to Amazon or wherever books are sold and get your copy. It's called Breaking the Miracle Barrier, Releasing God's Power for Breakthrough. And that is what we are going to do. We do that each and every day, but you need to learn how to do that in your personal life as well. Amen. God is good. Today we are reading from Victory Decrees, Daily Prophetic Strategies for Spiritual Warfare Victory. And today's devotion is titled, When Darkness Threatens to Overtake You. My, 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 my. Have you ever felt that way? Have you ever felt the darkness trying to overtake? You could just feel it. You could just feel it. You could just feel it. We're going to break that today. I heard the Lord say this, when darkness threatens to overtake you, I will show you the way through what seems to be impenetrable darkness. I will show you the way out when you meditate upon me instead of the situation, says the Lord. I will order your steps when you meditate on my heart instead of the brokenness. When you meditate on that which I've told you in the past seasons, instead of what the enemy is telling you right now, you will clearly see the path to victory, says the Lord. The darkness will flee says the Lord. The shadows will give way to the illumination of my word as you confess who you are and speak words of triumph, says the spirit of the living God. Come on, that is a good word. I read it nice and slow so that you could soak it all in. Now the scripture references for today, Joshua 1 verse 8, Psalm 1 verse 2, and Psalm 63, verse 6. Now the prayer starter and the devotional from uh, and the uh, decree from Victory Decrees. Father, remind me to meditate on your word day and night. Remind me to meditate on your word on my bed. Remind me to fix my eyes on you always. I decree my shining light weakens the enemy and overcomes threats of darkness. I declare the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart are pleasing to the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Father, we give you praise this morning. We honor you. We honor you, the God that makes darkness tremble. Come on. We honor you this morning. We exalt you this morning. The God who makes darkness tremble. I can't get off this. We thank you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. You are the God that makes darkness tremble. You are the God that makes darkness flee. You are the God that evicts dark spirits from our lives. We thank you, Lord, that there is no darkness in you, that you are light and you are love. And the entrance of your word brings light to our soul. 
souls, which expels demons. We thank you, Lord. When darkness threatens to overtake us, you will overwhelm the enemy with your bright light. Come on, your glorious light. Come on, you are light, God. You are the light of the world. There can be no darkness where light is shining brightly. When we turn on the lights, oh, darkness has got to go. It has no choice. The light overwhelms the darkness. The light overpowers the darkness. We rejoice in your light, oh God. We rejoice in your light. Oh, Jesus, we thank you that we walk in your light. And when any kind of demon tries to disrupt the light, we can see him. I said, we can see that devil. We can see the enemy. We can see the assignment. We can see the stumbling block because we're walking in the light. We thank you, Lord. There's no shifting shadow of turning in you. There's no dark spot in the spirit of God. Oh, Jesus, you are light through and through. Illuminate our minds today, oh God. Would you illuminate our minds today, oh God? Would you help us to see what we need to see? Shine a light, shine a spotlight on that which we need to see. Help us, Lord, to discern. Let your light flood our eyes. Let your light flood our eyes, God. Open the eyes of our heart. Flood the eyes of our heart with light. God, wash out the darkness, the residue of the enemy that causes us to see things wrongly, that causes us to see things as they are really not. He's trying to deceive us. He's trying to take us over. He's trying to push us down, oppress us, get us all in the flesh so that he can fight us on unfair ground. Father, we thank you. You've not called us to lift up the shield of flesh. You've called us to lift up the shield of faith. So we will not, <laughs> we will not, <laughs> we shall not allow the enemy to tempt us into fleshly behavior. We will not give the enemy any ground. We will not allow the enemy to try to put out our light. We will not hide our light under a bushel out of fear of speaking out about the glorious gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. We will not be tempted to walk in the flesh with our brothers and sisters and even those who don't yet know Christ. We will not stoop down to the level of the devil. We will not stoop down to the level of the devil. Come on, somebody needs to write that down. We will not stoop down to the level of the devil. Come on now, you got to get this in your mind. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to repeat it until you get it. We will not stoop down to the level of the devil. Somebody needs to get that in there in your spirit. We will not stoop down to the level of the devil. We will not stoop down to the level of the devil. We will not stoop down to the level of the devil. We will not. We refuse. We will not stoop down, but we will stand. Ha ha. We will rise up. Ha ha. We will push back. Ha ha. We will not stoop down to the level of of the devil, but we will ascend in the spirit to the holy hill with clean hands and a pure heart. We will resist the temptation to act like the world. We will resist the temptation to act like the devil. We will resist the temptation to act out of the flesh. We will not give ground to the enemy. We will not allow him to overtake us because we caved in to pressure in our mind, caved in to pressure the enemy put on our tongue to speak words of death. We will not release the power of death over our lives with the words of our mouth. God, let your light flood our tongues. <laughs> Wrap our tongues with light. <laughs> Wrap our tongues with light. <laughs> Wrap our tongues. Let light and life emanate out of our mouth with every word that we speak. God, would you help us? Let us set that as a goal in the spirit. Help us, Lord, to let every word that comes out of our mouth emanate light and life and love. Come on, the three L's. Let every word that comes out of our mouth emanate life and light and love. Come on, light and life and love. Come on, this is good. Light and life and love. That is who you are. You said, I am the way, the truth, the life. 
Your word says God is love. Therefore, every word that comes out of our mouth must emanate life and light and love and truth and grace. We will not curse one another. We will not bite and devour one another. We will not speak gossip and slander against one another, but we will speak words of life. We will prophesy life. We will decree life. We will declare life. We will proclaim life and light and love. Oh God, we thank you, Lord. I just see so strongly right now. You have no idea how many of you God is trying to promote you. Oh, if you could just see it, you're in the middle of a test. Oh, I wish you could comprehend what is going on in so many of your lives. You are in the middle of a test. Will you speak life and light and love and truth and grace? Or will you speak bitterness and hatred and anger and and gossip and slander. Oh, Jesus, God is putting us to the test. Will we walk in love or will we walk in strife? Will we walk in unity or will we walk in discord? How you walk and how you talk, we're being tested. We're being tested. How you walk and how you talk. And listen, it's not just a test of how you treat others. It's a test of how you treat yourself. Some of you are beating yourself up in your own mind. Some of you speak so poorly of yourself and God is speaking over you. Life and love and truth and light and grace. And the Lord says he has a plan for you, a future and a hope for you. And many of you, you don't see yourselves rightly. But this is the time of testing for so many of you. And God wants you to see yourself the way that you are. I'm not talking about concentrating on your flaws. I'm talking about who you are in him. We're never going to be perfect. We're never going to be perfect until Jesus comes back and gives us that resurrected body. We're never going to be perfect. We can grow. We can grow in grace, grow in light, grow in life, grow in truth, grow in love. But see who you are. You are valuable. You are extraordinary. You are supernatural. God has such a great plan for your life. Your assignment is so rich. It's so glorious. The anointing that you have, the mantle that you wear, God needs you to stand in your place, to stand in the gap he's assigned you. Oh, sure, he can find somebody else if you won't, but why wouldn't you? You are well equipped. You are well able to do anything that God tells you you can do. Oh, don't let the devil talk you out of it. Don't let the devil talk you out of what God promised you, what God spoke to you, who God told you you are, and who God showed you you would become. Come on, let's begin to speak life over ourselves. Amen. God is trying to promote us, I'm telling you. It's one of the things he's doing in this season. Those who are seeking peace, those who are seeking unity, those who are walking in love, it's promotion time. But maybe, maybe our paradigms of ourselves don't quite match how God sees us in this season. So, Father, we speak life over ourselves. Come on. I speak life over everyone under the sound of my voice. I say you are more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. I say greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. I say that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. I say that you are created in the image of Christ. I say that sickness and disease dies when it comes in contact with your body because you are walking in divine health. I say that everything you put your hand to prospers because God supplies all of your needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. I say that you are the head and not the tail, above only and not beneath. I say that you lend to many nations and never have to borrow. I say that you are super conquerors in Christ. I say that you think on things that are good and pure and lovely of a good report. I say that you walk in the grace of humility and that you honor people. You prefer others as Christ told you to do. I say that you have a revelation of the goodness of God in the land of the living. And I say 
say that you are an overcomer and you are well able to take the mountain that God has given you. I say that you walk in faith and you walk in truth and you walk in light and you walk in love and you walk in grace. I say that those demons that plagued you in the last season are fleeing in this season. Come on, speak life over yourself. I believe in you. But the greater part is God believes in you. I see that you have potential. I can see it, all of you under the sound of my voice. Oh, there's so much potential in your spirit. Oh, there's so many gifts and things that God has put in you that he wants the world to see. Father, we say yes to who you say we are. We say yes to who you say we are. We say yes to who you say we are. We will not think of ourselves as grasshoppers anymore. We will not look at all of our flaws and say, how can God possibly use us? We will not look at our past mistakes and say, how is God even loving me anymore? We break all of those lies of the enemy off of our life in Jesus name. You are light and love and truth and grace personified. You are a good God, a good, good father, an extraordinary provider. Come Come on. He's an extraordinary provider. Come on. I don't know who needs to hear that this morning. He's an extraordinary provider. He's an extraordinary healer. He's an extraordinary counselor. He's an extraordinary intercessor. He's an extraordinary advocate. Come on. He is the all in all. Come on, I feel good. Do you feel good? Because I feel good. Do you feel good? Do you feel better? Amen. I woke up today ready to take a mountain, ready to run through a troop and leap over a wall. And I just released that anointing over you right now. The joy of the Lord is your strength. I just release that newness of life over you right now. Oh, Jesus, if God is for you, who can be against you? If God is for you, what is it now? matter who's against you. God is on your side and nothing shall by any means harm you. Oh, Jesus, we say yes. We say yes to all of your words of life that you speak over us in your scriptures, that you speak over us in the still small voice. We are going to get into agreement with you right now and we will not agree with the voice of a stranger. We will not agree with the voice of the thief. Ha ha ha, come on. We will not agree with the voice of the thief. Come on, you know who I'm talking about. We will not agree with the voice of the thief. We will not agree with the voice of the murderer. We will not agree with the voice of the destroyer. Come on. Jesus said the enemy comes, but for to kill, steal, and destroy. We will not agree with the voice of the murderer. We will not agree with the voice of the slanderer. We will not agree with the voice of the destroyer. We will not agree with the voice of the thief, but we will agree with your voice. Let your voice, Lord, be the loudest voice that we hear. Your word tells us the Lord, the, the enemy comes, but for to seal, kill, and destroy. But you give us life in abundance to the full till it overflows. So, Father, we thank you today. We agree with the overflow. Come on. We agree with the overflow. Come on. We agree with the overflow. Come on. We agree with the abundance. Come on. We agree with the life. And it's not just any life. It's the Zoe life, the Hebrew word for life, Zoe. It is the God kind of life that I'm talking about. I'm not talking about a barely getting by life. I'm not talking about a life that's laced with fear and barely enough. And oh, Jesus, what am I going to do now? I mean, partakers of the divine nature. We agree with the overflow. 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 We decree the overflow. We declare the overflow. We prophesy the overflow. Come on. Oh, Jesus. I feel right now, I literally feel like, and I know this sounds kind of strange, but if you have spiritual ears and a spiritual mind, you'll understand me. And I 
know that many of you who are sensitive to the Holy Spirit, you will understand exactly what I'm talking about because you're experiencing this right now. I feel literally like I'm standing in the overflow. I can see a, 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 the wave, uh, like a wave of an ocean, just crushing, crashing in. I could just see this, like the ocean behind me with these huge waves, like you'd see the surfers ride in Hawaii. And I just see the overflow is coming my way. And I feel like I am positioned for the overflow right now. I see a vision. I feel like I'm standing in the right place at the right time to experience the overflow. Some of you are sensing and feeling that same thing, right? I know that some of you are feeling and sensing that same thing. Maybe you didn't see the vision that I saw, but maybe you're sensing that something has shifted. Maybe you're sensing that something has changed. Maybe it's just in your mind, but it's got to change in your mind before it changes in the outward circumstances. Amen. It's got to change in your thought life before it changes your words, before your words can release the power that changes your life. I thank you, Lord, that we are positioned for overflow when we stand in love. We are positioned for the overflow when we stand in faith. We are positioned for the overflow when we stand stand in truth. We are positioned for the overflow when we stand in peace. We are positioned for the overflow when we stand in grace. Come on. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I praise you. Let's take a moment. Somebody just needs to take a deep breath. Somebody just, I'm telling you right now, somebody needs to take a deep breath because as you do, I just feel like you're getting filled with the spirit again. We all need to get refilled. Somebody just needs to take a deep breath. I feel like the Holy Spirit is just filling us again with that spirit of might, filling us again, making us able to stand. I agree with the overflow. Come on, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I heard the Lord say, it's time to take a stand. Now, he was speaking to me, but here's the thing. I ask him, before I get on the broadcast, what does he want to say to you? And this might not apply to every single person on this broadcast, but it applies to enough. It's a corporate word. It's not for the entire body of Christ. It's for those who are following my ministry on this broadcast. Before I get on the broadcast, I ask the Lord, what specifically do you want to say? And he wants to say many things. But one of the things that he's saying is it's time to take a stand. So I would have to believe there are many of you on this broadcast today, including myself, who need to take a stand in some area of your life. Or maybe you just let your hand off. Maybe you let the devil in. I don't know. I've done it. I imagine some of you have done that. You just take your hand off a thing. You get frustrated. You get tired. You get worn out. Uh, or maybe some of you need to take a stand in a battle that you're fighting and choose to rise up to the next level because God is with you. It's time to take a stand. Come on. It's time to take a stand. It is time to take a stand. It is time to take a stand. Where do you need to take a stand? God will empower you to take that stand. For some of you, you need to take a stand with your with your teenage children and not be nasty about it. But, you know, you just have to take a stand. You're living in my house and these are the rules. Amen. Some of you need to take a stand with some of your coworkers who have become codependent upon you and won't give you a minute's rest. Some of you need to take a stand for your city. You need to join Awakening Prayer Hubs and take a stand for your city and stand in the gap. Some of you need to take a stand in, in, with your own self and say, look, look, flesh, <laughs> look, flesh, I'm crucifying you. I, I, I'm taking a stand against all your carnal behavior and attitude. Some of you need to take a stand. I don't know where you need to take a stand. Maybe it's against the devil. Maybe it's against your flesh. Maybe it's in your household or in your workplace. Father, would you help us today? to see where we need to take a stand. And many of you, you already know. Unless it's the enemy blindside in the works, you already know. I love 1 Corinthians 16, 13 through 14. It says, be watchful. Listen, stand firm in the faith. For some of you, that's what you're needing to do. Just stand firm in the faith. God gave you word, you're going to stand on it. 
God gave you a prophecy, you're going to stand on it. God gave you a scripture, it popped off the page at you, and you're going to stand on it. You're believing for something, and the devil's trying to talk you flat out of it. Be watchful, stand firm in the faith. And in, in 2 Thessalonians 2.15, Paul says, so then, stand firm. Philippians 4.1, Paul says, stand firm thus in the Lord. Philippians 1.27, Paul says, I hear of you that you are standing firm in one spirit. Some of you need to take a stand for unity. We all need to take a stand for unity. Amen. Do you see this is a consistent theme through scripture? Stand, and not just stand, but stand firm. Galatians 5.1, for freedom Christ has set us free. Stand firm therefore and do not submit again to a yoke of slavery. Exodus 14, 13 through 14. And Moses said to the people, fear not, stand firm. See, fear can keep you from standing. Your legs start to wobble. You faint. Those who faint in the day of adversity, their strength is small, the proverb says. Moses said, fear, fear not, stand firm. And when you do, guess what the outcome is going to be? When you just refuse to fear and when you stand firm, guess what the outcome is? Moses said, see the salvation of the Lord, which he will work for you today. Fear not, stand firm and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will work for you today. In Colossians 4.12 says Epaphras, which is one of you, a servant of Jesus Christ, greets you always struggling on, you, struggling on your behalf in his prayers. Epaphras was struggling in his prayers that you may stand mature and fully assured of the will of God. And of course, we know Paul the Apostle in Ephesians 6, with regard to spiritual warfare, over and over again, he says, stand therefore. And when you've done all you can do, stand. And if you'll track with me right now and not be distracted, you're about to get a breakthrough. If you can track with me and not be distracted by other things right now, whatever it is that's trying to distract you, if you came on this broadcast for a breakthrough, you don't have to ask others on the broadcast for the breakthrough. You just have to listen to me pray right now and you'll receive your breakthrough if you have faith. The devil's trying to talk you and distract you right out of your breakthrough. We're not going to let that happen. We're positioned for the overflow. We've already established that. We're positioned in a place where we're standing and we're going to stand. So Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord, that you have given us this word, this charge. Come on. You've given us this charge. You've given us this, this mandate to take a stand. And Lord, your word says that you are able to make us stand. How beautiful, how glorious that when we don't feel like standing, all we have to do is want to stand and you will make us able. When we don't feel like we can stand one more minute, if we just put our yes to your word, that says, I am able to make you stand, we will be able to stand. We will not sit down. We will not lay down. We will not lay down our weapons. We will not pull out of the fight. We will not back up. We will not back off. We will not shut up, but we will speak up. Come on. We will do whatever you tell us to do while we stand. Sometimes we just have to stand firm, firm in the faith and keep confessing what the Lord has told us. Sometimes we have to stand with our weaponry on, ready for the launch out into the battlefield to fight for what belongs to us, to take back what the devil stole. Sometimes we have to stand and speak up against an ill in society. God, we thank you, Lord, this morning that you are the breaker, that you are the God of the breakthrough, that nothing is too hard for you, that all things are possible to him who believes. We thank you this morning that you call yourself the breaker. In Malachi 2, you are described as the breaker who goes before us to lead us into breakthrough. And how grateful we are, Lord, that you have positioned us. You have not 
positioned us for overwhelm. The devil has positioned us for overwhelm, but you've positioned us for overflow. And we are standing right now on the brink of the overthrow. We are standing right now on the brink of the breakthrough. And we know, Lord, that we got to get the breakthrough in the spirit before we see the breakthrough in the natural. We've got to get the breakthrough in the spirit before we see the breakthrough in the natural. We've got to grab the miracle in the spirit before we see the miracle in the natural. So we stand firm on your word. God, you are not a man that you should lie, nor the son of man that you should repent. If you said a thing, you'll do a thing. You are watching over your word to perform it. Even now, whatever you've told us, you're going to do it as we do our part. You'll do your part. We're going to stand firm. We're going to speak out. We're going to swing the sword and we're going to cut off the head of the giant in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord. I release breakthrough. Oh, Jesus, I thank you, Lord. I release breakthrough. You are the breaker and you're carrying breakthrough and our agreement is releasing breakthrough in the spirit. We're going to see it. We're going to see those bodies healed. We're going to see those souls saved. We're going to see those prodigals come home. We're going to see those finances come in. I release breakthrough in Jesus name. Come on, release breakthrough over your life. Speak it out of your mouth right now, wherever you are in the world, speak it out of your mouth right now. I release breakthrough over my life. You got to release it over yours. I'm standing with you. I release breakthrough. I release breakthrough over ministries. I release breakthrough over your family unit. I release breakthrough over your body. I release breakthrough over your mind. I release breakthrough over your children. I release breakthrough over your businesses. I release breakthrough over your career. I release breakthrough over your dreams. Come on. I release breakthrough. I release breakthrough over your churches. I release breakthrough over your cities. Come on. Speak it out with me. Speak it out with me. Speak it out with me. Come on. Let's all say the same thing. Can we all say the same thing? What if we all just said the same thing? I release breakthrough over Europe. I release breakthrough over South Africa. I release breakthrough over Nigeria. Come on. Let's kick it up. I release breakthrough over Scandinavia. I release breakthrough over Canada. I release breakthrough over Latin America. I release breakthrough over, over, over the United States. I release breakthrough over Asia. Come on. I release breakthrough over your bank accounts. I release breakthrough over your aspiration to write a book. I don't know who I'm talking to. I release breakthrough over your marriage. I release breakthrough. Oh, Jesus, over your tax issues. I release breakthrough over your debt and call it canceled. I release breakthrough over your body. I release breakthrough over that weight loss that's been stubborn and stubborn and stubborn and stubborn and you can't lose the weight and you can't. Come on, I release breakthrough. Come on, who's with me? I wish somebody was with me. I wish I could hear your voices. I wish I could see your faces. I release breakthrough. Oh, shekete, over that relationship with that broken, that broken relationship over a family, with a family member, uh, that, that long lost sister. I release breakthrough. I release breakthrough in the relationship with the long lost brother. I release breakthrough in the relationship with that best friend. I release breakthrough in that relationship with your parents. I release breakthrough. Come on. Shekete robo shaba. Come on. What do you need breakthrough over? Release breakthrough. Would you please release breakthrough? We're in a moment of breakthrough. Do you understand the Kairos moment? Do you discern the Kairos time? Do you understand what's happening in the spirit? Come on. Release breakthrough. Come on. Release it. Release it. Release it. I release breakthrough over that, uh, that, that property that you're trying to buy and that bank loan that you're trying to get to start that business. I release breakthrough. I release breakthrough over, over the opportunity that just seems to elude you. I say, break it forth, God. Break forth, break forth, break forth, break forth, break forth. Come on. Breakthrough over reconciliations. Breakthrough 
over your grandchildren. Come on, breakthrough, 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 breakthrough over your mindsets, breakthrough over that anger that you feel, breakthrough in that depression that you suffer with, breakthrough over the discouragement the enemy brings to your life. Break out, breakthrough, break out, breakthrough, break out, breakthrough, break forth, break out, breakthrough, break out, breakthrough, break out, breakthrough, break forth. Somebody's trying to sign a lease. I release breakthrough over that lease. I release breakthrough over your company. I release breakthrough over that marketing campaign. Come on. I release breakthrough over that evangelistic outreach that you're planning. I release breakthrough over that gospel crusade that you're planning. I release breakthrough, breakthrough, break forth, breakthrough, breakthrough, breakthrough. I release breakthrough over that anxiety that you're feeling. Breakthrough over that addiction. Hey, hey, hey. Breakthrough over that addiction. Hey, hey, hey. Breakthrough over that addiction. Breakthrough over that autoimmune disease. Come on and shout out so I can agree with you. Breakthrough over that autoimmune disease. Breakthrough over that cancer. Breakthrough over that room that you're trying to get rented out. Breakthrough, breakthrough, breakout. Breakthrough, breakthrough, break forth. Breakthrough over the Senate. Breakthrough over the governments of the nations. Breakthrough, breakthrough, breakout. Breakthrough over emotional health. Come on, let me agree with you. Breakthrough over your writing. Breakthrough over your prayer hub. Breakthrough over your ministry. Breakthrough over that fear. Breakthrough over Denmark, Denmark, Denmark. Denmark is marked for revival. Denmark is marked for revival. Denmark is marked for revival. Breakthrough over disappointment. Breakthrough over your children. Breakthrough over your marriage. Breakthrough over your body. Breakthrough over Colombia. Breakthrough over Venezuela. Breakthrough, breakthrough over autism. Breakthrough over asthma. Breakthrough for ADHD. Breakthrough for addiction. Breakthrough for the schoolwork. Breakthrough in Indonesia. Breakthrough for your emotional health. Breakthrough over Sweden. Breakthrough over Sweden. Breakthrough over Sweden. Breakthrough over Sweden. Breakthrough over Africa. Oh, breakthrough with revival breakthrough over South Africa breakthrough over lupus breakthrough over the court case breakthrough over prayer hubs breakthrough over Curacao breakthrough over Fiji breakthrough breakthrough break forth breakthrough for revival breakthrough for awakening breakthrough over India, breakthrough over autism, breakthrough for Utah, breakthrough over this mystery infection in Jesus name, in Jesus name, in Jesus name, in I see a blanket of breakthrough. <laughs> So we need to snug up in it. I see a blanket of breakthrough. Like what I think what the Lord is showing me is breakthrough all around. When you blanket, when you say this, it's a blanket truth or it's a blank. God is saying it is breakthrough all around. Now you got to press into it. We're doing it in the spirit. Understand we're doing the spirit work right now. Breakthrough over this broadcast. Breakthrough over Monroe, Louisiana. We're doing the work in the spirit right now. It doesn't always happen in a moment's time. It doesn't just always happen in an instant. Sometimes it does. Sometimes Sometimes it doesn't. Breakthrough over technology, breakthrough over businesses, breakthrough over coronavirus, breakthrough over coronavirus, breakthrough over coronavirus, breakthrough over scalp conditions, breakthrough over hair loss, breakthrough over a lukewarmness, breakthrough, 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 a blanket of breakthroughs. Yesha katere bosha, kum brakete, breakthrough over Chicago. Come on, breakthrough over your marriage hey shed abosha kerebeshe kimbra stabashe spring up oh well 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 of breakthrough spring up oh well of breakthrough spring up oh well of break come on i declare india breakthrough india breakthrough india breakthrough india breakthrough india breakthrough over abortion come on breakthrough over uh breakthrough over what they call that euthanasia breakthrough over over injustice, breakthrough over knee pain, I'll take that one, breakthrough over lukewarmness, breakthrough over injustice, breakthrough over injustice, breakthrough over injustice, breakthrough over Israel, breakthrough over injustice, come on, God is good, God is good, God is good, 
God is good. Keep on shouting out. I want to tell you about this is this was this was totally uh, led by the Lord. But guess what? It's probably because breakthroughs on my mind. God's been speaking to me about breakthrough. But there is a new book that comes out today. It's called Breaking the Miracle Barrier. I told you about it at the beginning of the broadcast. Today's broadcast was called It's Time to Take a Stand. And I have a brand new book called Breaking the Miracle Barrier releasing God's powerful breakthrough. And I want all of you to go over and pick up your copy. It releases uh, this revelation of the sound of now. Come on, breakthrough, 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 breakthrough over injustice, breakthrough over racism, breakthrough over racism, breakthrough over racism, breakthrough over racism, breakthrough over racism. Breakthrough over racism, breakthrough for miracles, breakthrough for Canada, breakthrough breakthrough, breakthrough for bone disorders, breakthrough for tiredness and exhaustion, breakthrough for fibromyalgia, breakthrough for, uh, what do they call that when you're tired all the time? Uh, fatigue, chronic fatigue syndrome, breakthrough for Crohn's disease. Oh, go get your copy of this book today before you forget. I said an email already went out this morning. It's called Breaking the Miracle Barrier. Sid Roth said, breaking the miracle barrier is for all those who are de in desperate need of a miracle now. Maybe that's you. Maybe it's time for you to go grab a copy of this book and continue to press into what we're doing here this morning. You cannot get discouraged if you don't see an immediate miracle. You have to be a person and a people who will continue to contend. It's time to stand. The sound of now. The sound of now is happening now. Breakthrough for hip regeneration. Come on, breakthrough, breakthrough, breakthrough. Breakthrough for all diseases. Breakthrough for heart problems. Breakthrough for blood pressure, breakthrough, breakthrough for diabetes, breakthrough for our economies, breakthrough of discouragement, all autoimmune disorders, breakthrough over Zambia, breakthrough over injustice. Come on, breakthrough, 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 breakthrough. The sound of now was a revelation God gave me as I was driving to church one day. And he gave me the whole message and pow, it just released 24 hour breakthroughs through the entire church. I had three 24 hour breakthroughs in one day, breakthrough over lawsuits, breakthrough over court settlements, breakthrough over diseases, breakthrough, 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 breakthrough for the glory of the Lord, breakthrough, 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 breakout, break forth, break in Jesus. Go over to amazon.com, whatever nation you're in, or go to book depository. If you're in another nation, if you're in the UK, go to Amazon in the UK. If you're in America, go to Amazon in America and Canada, whatever nation, India that you're in, get this book, Breaking the Miracle Barrier. Breakthrough over student loan debt. Breakthrough over sleep issues. Come on. You guys are awesome. Sheba. Breakthrough over asthma. Shaba. Kathy Little. My new friend, Kathy Little, said, I had a breakthrough with asthma. I started saying I don't have asthma, and it left you. That's the, that's the way to go. Breakthrough into the supernatural. I like that, Joy. Breakthrough into the supernatural. Come on, Joy. Breakthrough into the supernatural. Breakthrough, breakout. Breakthrough over sexual immorality. Breakthrough over pornography. Breakthrough over addictions. Breakthrough over over uh, 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 sleep issues, insomnia, breakthrough, 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 breakthrough over hormonal imbalances. Oh, Jesus. Breakthrough over hormonal imbalances. Oh, Jesus. Breakthrough over nocturnal warfare. Breakthrough over nocturnal warfare. Breakthrough over nocturnal warfare. Nightmares. Breakthrough over spiritual warfare. Ye ba shekete fibromyalgia. Breakthrough over fibromyalgia. Ye breakthrough on your stubborn family members. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. That made me laugh. Breakthrough, breakthrough, breakthrough. Some of you might want to go over because I've got about 50 or 60 and there's new ones coming out every day of these self-deliverance audios on my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash J Jennifer LeClaire Ministries. Breakthrough and being stuck in life. Breakthrough, breakthrough, breakthrough over loneliness, breakthrough over barrenness. You guys are on it. You want to sow breakthrough to you today? You can do that at jenniferleclair.org slash donate. 
You can use the cash app is I am dollar sign. I am Jennifer LeClaire breakthrough over your son's schizophrenia breakthrough over moving breakthrough over life, lifelong weight issues. Come on, breakthrough, breakthrough, breakthrough for diabetes, breakthrough for deception and manipulation and dishonesty breakthrough over digestive discomfort breakthrough over uh, uh, slumber in your community breakthrough over alcoholism breakthrough in your ministry. Come on, breakthrough over witchcraft. You want to sow a seed today. You can also use the cash app dollar sign. I am Jennifer LeClaire. You can use the text to give 754-701-2161. Text the word pray. You can use the PayPal, paypal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire. Breakthrough over confusion. Breakthrough over moving. Breakthrough over finding a new apartment. Breakthrough over regret. Breakthrough over marital delay. That one keeps coming up. Is it the same person? Breakthrough over breast cancer and diabetes. Breakthrough over religious spirit. Jesus. You can also use the Venmo if you want to sow a seed today. Venmo at Jennifer. Venmo is at Jennifer LeClaire. Breakthrough over the bear, the bone spur in your left heel. Come on, nothing's too small for God and nothing's too hard for God. Breakthrough over Jezebel and Adelia. Breakthrough over muscle diseases. Breakthrough over poverty and abusive spiritual mom and dad. Breakthrough over marriage secrets. Ooh, somebody got a breakthrough dance. Breakthrough over double-mindedness. Breakthrough over barrenness. Breakthrough over poverty. Breakthrough over self-loathing. Breakthrough over HIV. Come on, breakthrough over the hip joint. Uh, you can use the PO box. You want to send me a, a, a card. Uh, a gift, uh, a gift card, a testimony. You want to write a letter. You want to send a, a check or a money order. PO Box three zero five six three, Fort Lauderdale, Florida three 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 zero three. God is good. Let me go. I love you guys. I will hopefully see you at eleven a.m. Virtual Life Group is tonight. If you're a Virtual Life Group member, God bless you. See you tomorrow.